Hello and welcome back. And that's right, today I want to show you how to set up tail scale with you and your Terra Master NAS. A number of you that have purchased Terra Master NAS over the last few years utilize it in a relatively basic capacity. You might be using it to back up a bunch of devices. You might be using it as a standard media server there. You might be utilizing it for slightly more advanced features than that. And although you can use remote access on the Terra Master platform and a lot of their external access means to connect to it via their own online resources and bounce to a Terra Master server, a number of you are concerned about two things. One, about the security of your NAS. And although Terramaster have improved things a great deal in the last year, year and a half since that horrible deadbolt business, it should be said that a number of you rather like to centralize onto another means of accessing all of your remote devices. However, so my second point is so many of you like to use things like TeamViewer or Tailscale to create a single portal VPN encrypted based tunnel that allows you on your phones, your laptops, your whatever to access and communicate with everything else as much as possible and that's why tail scale has really risen in the ranks in terms of popularity as a means for all of your devices to be able to communicate for free uh, remotely via encryption but without having to knock around with port forwarding and firewalls however there isn't an official tail scale app for the terramaster platform luckily I'm going to talk you through the whole thing today. And we're going to be installing Tailscale on the Terramaster. We're also going to be connecting with it on a Windows client, the laptop I'm using today. And by the end of this video, you're definitely going to know how to set up Tailscale on your Terramaster NAS. So the first thing you need to do, and the links will be in the description, is to head over to the Terramaster community page. The Terramaster community or Terramaster community place is where there's homebrew and third-party applications out there. Ultimately, it's a resource center, but it's also a community, much like their forum, that allows users who have got a little bit more, you know, tech knowledge with Linux and GitHub type uh, packages to take third party installers uh, uh, that support on other platforms and just general Linux tools and then convert them into TerraMaster specific installers, such as the Tailscale one here. And this allows you to download Tailscale, the installer. But bear in mind, you will have to create an account on the Terramaster Community Place site, and you can only have free, uh, two free downloads a week, or you can subscribe for Ultimate Ones. And there's lots of apps on there, but personally, I think uh, the, uh, for this, you're not going to need to create an account. You can if you do, and it's a great way to support people that create these packages rather than donating directly. What you can do is subscribe to that uh, membership place there, and I believe there is some kind of monetization system there. I'm not sure whether the devs get money there, so again, it's up to you. But go ahead and install the version of TOS for TOS 5.1.36, the most recent version. Uh, there isn't a current version available, at least on this website, for TOS 4. And once you've got that downloaded via the download tab that you've got the thing created for, you've got the TerraMaster tools you're going to need. But also bear in mind, depending on if you're accessing via a mobile phone, a desktop, uh, laptop, PC, Mac, anything, you're going to need to get that client tool as well. Because Tailscale works with the communication via those two client devices under your account so from that point you need to go to the Tailscale website and you need to create a Tailscale account you can do that really easily I've already logged in on mine but there is an option to create a Tailscale account very easily and it's completely free there next go to their download section all this will be linked in the description and from there download the version of Tailscale appropriate to your client hardware so again for Windows go for Windows Android phones Android you know the spiel go ahead and download that and install it just like you would any other exe it will install and it will appear on the bottom right of your screen unfortunately my camera is going to be in the way one moment let's move me out of the way on the bottom of the screen there as you can see a new tail scout icon will appear and then use the login credentials you created in order to access it and connect this account to this tail scout so for example if we right click i can go into the settings there and you can uh, go into the preferences what you want to adapt and also about the application as well it's very straightforward and if you're already a user of Tailscale, you'll know how that's done so while you've got this open on your screen don't close this tab you're going to need that later on head back into the terramaster system and now go into the app center 
From here, it takes an extra few seconds to synchronize with the uh, database there for apps available. And now go into the settings tab. From the settings tab, go to the bottom here where it says install application manually and select the folder. Select the folder and then select that Talscale app that you downloaded from the TerraMaster community page. Then from there, click confirm. And then from there, it will start installing Talscale. It will be a very quick process. I'm just going to pop myself back there on the bottom of the screen. Again, if you're using uh, Talscale for a mobile device, then that app will be on there as well. So now we've got Talscale installed on our TerraMaster NAS. And if we look on the left-hand side of the screen, we can see the Talscale app has now been added to the range of applications. So from there, what we need to do is click Talscale. As you can see, the app is running. And what it's recommending is you access the uh, authenticated link or auth URL to authenticate this NAS. Now, in order to do that, you need to go into the log file section and select start log. These are the logs that are created when you start up the app for the very first time. Now, unlike my screen you see here, when you install Talscale for the first time, you'll be greeted with a big old line of dialog text. But the important thing is to find the link where it says to authenticate with. That will be the HTTPS login there and a number there at the end. The reason it's not showing on my screen right now is I've already installed this during the run up and the kind of scripting for this video. So you won't see this screen here. Just make sure on the first installation to go into log files and select start log and within that start log you will find that auth url that you need to proceed with the installation the next thing you need to do is log into Talscale with the account details you created with that Talscale account i use the junker nas compare account and as you can see now i've logged into the device it's asking me do i want to connect this tnas which is the TerraMaster nas i'm using thus far to my range of Talscale equipped devices and i'm going to say connect and as you can see, now it's connected the Talscale um, account with the TerraMaster there. And it's going to redirect me back to the console. But as you can see now, I've got the uh, TerraMaster NAS added to my range of different devices that I can now access remotely if I choose. So now I can log into the Talscale account here on the web browser if I choose and access all of these or I can use any one of the client applications to communicate between all of these devices. So if we choose, we can go ahead, go into a private window, log in with our login credentials, and we'll be able to access our Talscale NAS. And there you go, that is how easy it is to add TerraMaster to your Talscale collection of devices using that third party app. I would love to show you remote access to it, but this is all going to be on that same network. So it's really not gonna make any blind bit of difference trying to show you that, so I don't have a secondary network with which to show you. Just know that when you are setting this up, the real benefits of Talscale is when you're utilizing all of those different devices to all have um, a Talscale uh, client on them in order to communicate with one another. You can do it via the web browser, but it's not as efficient, but it still works out as an incredibly efficient means to get in. Also bear in mind uh, with your Talscale account that yes, as I say, it is largely free. What do I mean by that? Well, because if you are gonna use it in any kind of meaningful enterprise way, Again, you can use it for free up to 20 devices in a single account, but some of the bigger features are ones that you're gonna to have to pay out a little bit for. But still, nonetheless, that has been how to put Talscale on your TerraMaster NAS. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. It should be a written guide below. If not now, then in the next few days. And other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.